Hey everybody, this is Integer and welcome to another video in my series on the very basics of Python. In the previous video we looked at how to output information to the screen and you can see on the screen right now this is the information we have outputted. Um, I'm going to create a new one um, in this case or you can just go ahead and um, just delete that and then um, you can create something new but um, I, will, um, I will actually create a new one. Um, you can't see um, mine at the top, I'm just going to File and I'm going to say um, save as and you can see this is where I'm um, putting all this information and I'm just going to say here um, that I'm looking at some more output options but this time it's going to be um, uh, new lines new lines and tabs I'm just going to say new line tabs uh, in my case I'm click save and um, then I'm just going to delete um, what I have here um, just like that I'm just going to delete that and now we're in our next our next video that is um, obviously not saved and um, we will save it uh, when we run it for the first time okay cool so let's have a look at today's video so for today we're going to look at um, new lines how to create a new line um, using our print function when you're outputting to the screen so I'm gonna go ahead and say print and I'm just going to say um, new line um, I'm going to say new line and I'm going to F5 enter so when I run it you can see this is now my new line there's absolutely nothing there I just want to show you how it works so theoretically um, I'm just going to do another one um, here whoops um, I'm just going to right let me try that again there we go so new line I'm just going to say next um, new line um, like that um, doesn't have to be capitals. I don't know why I did it like that, but uh, but anyway, I'm going to <laughs> I'm just going to make it a lower case um, over there. Right, next new line. Again, if I go ahead and I print this, you will see there's absolutely uh, nothing new. What I mean by new line is if you have a blank space or you want to go to your next line. That's what I want to show you. Um, but for that, I needed the two. So I'm going to put at the back of this one. This is now a new a new skill or new trick or whatever you want to call it. So new line. If I want to put a space. Uh, normally what I would do is what I taught you in the, the previous video is something like that so if I if I run this one you will see we now have this uh, empty space um, over here there's a new uh, new space there but I want to do that without uh, let's say creating another line so what you can do is you can go at the back of whatever string you have remember string is any characters inside a double or single quotes so I'm going to go just before the end of the string and I'm going to put a backslash and then an N. The N is the backslash N means new line. So when I run this now, if I've entered, you can see now it does exactly the same thing. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. It does exactly the same thing and creates a new line um, over there, just like before. But now I don't have to um, do anything um, like that. I don't have to go and type in for example print um, like that um, I don't have to I can now use instead of using what's that four plus another five so there's nine characters I've just used two characters to do exactly the same thing so that means I'm slightly more efficient in how I'm already writing my programs um, you can also put um, you can do the same thing in front I can put a let me just show you just what it looked like again so if I enter you can see there's um, at the start of the code let's just go for um, this one again so at the start of the code over here you can see I've got um, a new line there's not, no space above it then I've got my space and then I've got my my next line um, over there so now what we're going to do is we put a, a new line in front like that if I run it now you will see there's now suddenly um, we've got a little space We've got a little space there now. That's what we just created um, with that one, which is um, which is quite cool. So I like I like this uh, little new line. Um, let's call it a tool or feature um, that you can use to create a um, new line, and you can use it anywhere um, that you want um, in the front, in the back, in the middle, if you needed to, depending on what you are doing. Um, but it really saves a lot on space. The next thing I want to show you. Um, obviously we will be using it um, throughout and that is um, the tab spaces to use tab spaces which is very similar to what um, we are doing so I'm going to use the print function again remember we're just outputting to the screen at the moment and I'm just teaching you some um, few um, features um, for this so 
first of all I want to show you what note tab looks like so F5 enter and um, we've got um, the note tab here um, I should really get rid of that now so I want to show you another feature quickly which I've not showed you before you could um, highlight that and then you could do alt and three alt and three so um, let me just um, where can I where can I let me highlight that and I'll just say um, alt and three and then you can see it does the two two um, comments that it puts in front if you want to take it away you can highlight it and do alt and four alt and four takes it away and what I mean by that is just the alt key and three um, or the alt key and four is what you can use um, for that okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just comment it out using alt and three and then when I run this now you will see it's just um, the note tab and that's what I wanna I wanna show you cool so um, I'm just gonna now copy and paste that um, and then I'm gonna say one tab so there was no tab spaces um, obviously before but now I'm gonna put one tab uh, if I've entered will not give anything apart from it says one tab but I want to move this one one tab space to the right and it works just like uh, the new line feature use a backslash and then a T so when I run this now if I've enter you will see now we have a little tab space a little tab space um, in front of those words with no tab one tab and I think you started to guess this now already um, if I do the same thing um, I'm just going to copy and paste this code and then I'm going to put two tabs uh, two tabs in there and I'm going to say two and I'll say tabs, two tabs, F5 enter and you can see now we've got um, not just um, the single um, the single space over here but we now have a double space, a double tab space um, over here which is uh, which is quite cool, I like this, a cool feature so as you can see, let me just quickly explain this again um, I've used the um, the single the single um, uh, backslash T for one tab space and then another one for the second tab space and then you can see I put it in between my string um, so it's very very easy um, to use and then you can go ahead just to um, complete this we can do another one we can say three tabs um, three tabs if I've entered you run it you will see now you've got even an even bigger um, tab space than you have before the entry two tabs and you had the one tab um, over here so that's quite cool that's quite cool and you can go ahead if you want to make um, four more tabs or whatever so how do we use this um, if you're doing if you're doing columns I'm just gonna put a, a new line at the back of that one and then I'm just gonna go print actually I just wanna leave a little bit of um, space print is not it it's print print and um, let's say for example you wanted some commas um, or something like that um, you could do something like I'll start off with single tabs then you will see um, what I mean so let's say you're asking for someone's first name um, or you can ask for their uh, uh, I don't know last name let's do another tab space there last name and you could ask them for the age or something like that uh, if I've entered let's see what that looks like and there you can see we've got um, a little tab space in front here We've got another tab space in front there and another tab space in front there. So you've got um, little columns that you can start um, to create, for example, just to make things show a little bit neater um, while you are creating whatever it is, is that you create. And let's, for this case, let's say you were trying to make some columns. Okay, and then you can see what I've used was just um, normal, uh, just single, single tab spaces inside inside the um, string inside the text but you could uh, have had for example let's say print um, let's say this was um, student one and um, you wanted to have uh, let's say their name and you wanted to have we'll see if it lines up in a second um, their surname let's say Jones and you wanted the age let's say I don't know 15 or whatever it is it may not line up we'll see now if we have to adjust anything so let's go if I enter and let's have a look so we can see um, we probably need to move up um, the first name and we need to move up um, maybe the 15 
um, as well at the bottom so let's line them up quickly I'm gonna get out of that one I'm going to first of all just move up my uh, first name so let's first see if that works so if I've enter so that's fine I've got the Jimmy Jones under um, the f well Jimmy under the first name let's move the Jones up so I'm gonna put a backslash T in front of Jones if I've enter so now we've got the first name Jimmy, last name Jones, and now we want the 15 under the age. So let's move that one up as well, in front of the 15. I put another one, F5 enter, and now then line up very, very nicely. So now you can see I've got all my student information in a row. We've got Jimmy and we've got Jones. Let me just change this to a green, and then you can see I've got that one nicely um, lined up. That one's nicely lined up, and that one is nicely um, lined up as well underneath each other and you can see yourself having sort of a list of names first name last name and ages just something you can you can sort of do um, with the tab um, function with the tab function uh, or the tab tool anyway so that is um, what I wanted to show you in today's video so in today's video learn about the new line the new line um, function um, I also taught you how to create um, a comment, a block comment using the Alt and 3 or the Alt and 4 to take it away. And then you also learn how to put in tab spaces um, as many as you want depending on what you want to do. Obviously in future in future videos we will use uh, the new line um, feature and the tab feature. We will use again um, including in variables and things like that which you will learn. Uh, I think it's in the next in the next video. And um, but I think it's cool. It's a very cool thing, very basic thing as well. But not that many people know about it. Um, but there you go, the tab space and the new line. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.